Hi everyone and welcome to So Fantastic with Tiwa Avanti and today I'll be showing you how to cut a mermaid skirt with free hand. You know, if you've been following this um, channel, you know, you know that I always work with Natalie Bray pattern. But sometimes when I have to, when I have really tight deadlines and a lot of orders, I work with, I combine pattern drafting with free hand cutting. Okay, so I learned this method I'm about to show you from a friend who is a free hand guru a while back. Shout out to her, she's a lifesaver. If this is something that you're interested in learning, then come along with me and let me show you how. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop your comments and suggestions in the comment section. I marked one inch down from the self edge, the edge of the fabric and ruled. So this becomes my waistline. The next line is the hip line. You just mark your waist to hip measurement and you rule horizontally. Then this third line is the crunch line. Usually it's like three inches below the waist to hip measurement. Then I have the breaking point and this breaking point is used to shape the skirt. Now this last line I have is supposed to be my waist to knee measurement. But because we know that we cannot we cannot flay out a mermaid skirt from the knee measurement. It's going to cause constraints in movement. This measurement is two inches above my waist to knee measurement. Okay, so I marked my waist to knee and then I went I, I went up by two inches and ruled this line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark, or the next thing that you should be doing also is to mark your waist measurement divided by four okay and for me i after dividing i have 8.25 so then mark two inch seam allowance okay so for this skirt i will not be sewing that i, I don't i never sew that on on skirts anyways so there's no need to add any that allowance okay after marking your seam allowance then go up by half an inch on that seam allowance point, okay? So next, mark your hip measurements divided by four. Also add two inch seam allowance or whatever allowance you want to use for all the points. And so the hip for this, uh, my client is 10.5, 10, 10 so I'm putting 10.5 here. So 10.5 plus two inch seam allowance is 12.5. So on the crunch line, also you mark you mark that same measurement you have, that is your hip divided by four plus two. So on the breaking point line now, okay, you're going to remove two inches from what from what you have on your hip line, okay, and mark that on the breaking the breaking point line, okay. So that leaves me with ten point five. So I'm going to mark ten point five on my breaking point line. After marking your hip measurement minus two on the breaking point line, also transfer that to the knee line, okay? So you, you're going to have the same thing you marked on the breaking point line on the knee line. I hope you are following. After that, you connect all the points as I'm showing on the screen and from the the knee line you just connect straight to the hem of your skirt okay so that's it we're done with the front piece so for the back piece you're going to need to shape the bum area okay so this is where the butt sits okay when the the skirt or the garment is worn and so to do this what you do is just to connect take a line a curve you use your curved ruler to from the breaking point to the hip line okay so you just shape like that with the curved edge of your ruler and okay so and at the waist of the back piece also you shape the zip allowance you eliminate the zip allowance entirely just place the, your ruler as shown on the screen and blend into nothing along the zip allowance you blend it from the waist and into nothing. You make sure that it doesn't reach the hip and it just stops somewhere along your zip allowance and that way you have shaped the back. So remember that we marked half an inch up at the waist 
line earlier okay so what you do now is to you blend that half an inch into the waistline okay for the back all right you bend that half an inch just into the waistline and we are doing this because you remember remember that when you are drafting pattern or you want to cut skirts normally the back is always a little higher than the back than the front so and the front is lower to accommodate the curve of the um, of the of the tummy for the front your waistline you lower it you go down from the waistline by half an inch okay and then you blend from that half inch to the one you just lowered so we need to add you need to add back the zip allowance that you eliminated so that you still have something to sew as your zip allowance because this is a mermaid skirt i'm going to add the zip allowance from the knee line okay okay just add one inch from the knee line then to the hip you add one inch to blend back to the hip and into the flay like below the knee line you can add the one inch all the way to the hem to if you want i will stop here it doesn't really affect it but if you if it's a straight skirt that you are making you have to add the one inch all the way to the end be sure to add the one inch because this is a flare skirt it doesn't really it doesn't really matter just blend it into the flay or if you don't like to take risks add it all the way to the end okay at the center front fold measure the knee line all the way to the hem here i have 23.75 so i'm going to now mark this measurement on the flay line also because when i measured the flay line it was almost 28 so in order to correct the length mark the measurement you have at the center fold in front on the flay line okay and blend it back to the hem if once you do this one part will not be longer than the other the skirts will also curve nicely it will have this really nice curve and it will not be sharp at the side and also please sorry that i didn't state this earlier you need to add the zip allowance that you eliminated at the waist of the back to the side too when cutting you cut the back piece first so that you don't cut off you know the your zip allowance so after cutting it you after cutting that out then you can cut your front piece so let me know if you try out this method and if it works for you it works perfectly believe me and if you want me to make more free hand cutting videos like this let me know in the comment section please don't forget to engage with my content like subscribe turn on your post notification and all the awesome things that you guys do that can help my this channel to grow thanks again for your time stay awesome and i'll see you in the next one